Maybe we'll. All right, Danielle's going to show you guys how to wrap a polo wrap. Uh, first thing you want to do is find on the inside of the leg, just around the cannon bone, which is this big bone up in the front, you want to put the tip of the wrap right in there and hold it with your fingertips. And you want to, with some tension on the wrap, bring it around. And when I say tension, what I mean by that is that you have, you're kind of pulling just a little bit, causing enough tension for this to go on firmly. And you're going to roll down with a consistent amount of tension each wrap around and an equal distance between the wraps. For instance, you're going to go about an inch and a half here, an inch, give or take there, inch and a half there, so you don't have a real wide wrap and then a real narrow one. When you come to the ankle, you'll want to figure eight the ankle. i have to back it up and show you that. You want, you want to drop down from this higher spot up on the cannon bone to the bottom side, of the outside of the ankle here, and then up around to create just a V here in the front. You're going to repeat that one time. Go right over over the same same figure eight and then back up the leg. The idea is that you have even tension all the way one, down on the leg one time and then all the way back up. So um, from the, from the uh, below the knee all the way below the fetlock have you supported. At the end you have a nice snug wrap. You can feel it snug. <clears throat> During that time, I was careful not to pull the tendons around and cause any kind of bind. Um, so it's important to keep your tension even, your bandage wraps about the same distance apart, and you figure eight the ankle. I see a lot of times people either don't go underneath the ankle behind for support, or they go sometimes down too far. This is just right. It goes, just cups underneath the back of the fetlock and uh, allows enough movement. Which way do you wrap the the polo wrap? Well, it's a confusing thing to think of, but it's um, counterclockwise on the left front and clockwise on the right. All right, I always think about it as wrapping from the outside to the in, to the inside, from the outside to the inside. Yeah. So, and why would you want to do that? Well, it's just a matter of um, protecting the tendons, and uh, there's actually another theory. People say it doesn't matter which direction you wrap as long as your tension is the same and you don't and you don't twist on the tendons that run down the back of the leg so you know it's really a personal preference all right thank you